Hello there, friends. It's me, Harold. So, I want you to ring the bells and beat the drums because, boy, do I ever have a bonanza for you. Yes, it's America's leading reading ambassador, Dr. Danny Brossel. His last name is easy to spell. It's Braz Cell. Get it? Dr. Danny is a recognized authority on leadership development, motivation, and communication skills. He inspires people to read, lead, and succeed. Thousands of folks, from business executives to kindergarten teachers, have enjoyed his energetic, interactive, and informative presentations. Dr. Danny is a top-selling author, a highly sought-after speaker, a dynamic coach, and a proud husband, father, and puppet supporter. Him, him. So, get ready to find out how the more you read, the more you'll succeed. Is it all right if we laugh this afternoon? Good, because we're going to laugh. We're going to call this a baker's dozen of lessons learned from the teaching trenches or the roles of inspiration, perspiration, and motivation. Why those three things? Because of the psychological rule of seven plus or minus two. Harvard did a study. By the way, whenever I cite research, I always say Harvard did the study. It sounds much more legitimate that way. So <laughs> Harvard did a study. They found the typical human being has, can store up to seven pieces of information in their short-term memory, plus or minus two pieces of information. So what I want us to get out of this afternoon's session is that good teaching requires IPM, inspiration, perspiration, and motivation. I always like to get to know the people around me. So why don't you take a moment, look at the attractive people beside you. If you see a person look away, look at you and look away, you ain't looking so hot this afternoon. <laughs> Why don't you introduce yourself to a couple of strangers? Take about 14 seconds to do that. Go. We're going to play a game. This game requires that you get a partner. I will give you five seconds to get a partner. Go. And I will give you four seconds to determine who is partner A and who is partner B. Go. Partner A, stand up. Partner A, I would like you to look down at partner B. And for the next 20 seconds, please tell partner B what makes you so awesome. Go. Stop. OK, partner B, I need you to look up at partner A and repeat after me. You're amazing. Now repeat after me. I want to be just like you someday. Very good, partner A, you may sit down. Partner B, stand up. Partner B, I would like you to look down at partner A and for the next 20 seconds, please tell partner A what makes you so awesome. Go. Stop. Okay, partner A, I need you to look up at partner B and repeat after me. What a stud! <laughs> now repeat after me. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Very good, everybody sit down and give yourselves a big hand. No matter what you do, remember you are always a teacher and a role model. So now you're wondering who is this guy? Well, I am Danny, teacher of many ages, cultures, shapes, and sizes. I've actually taught all age levels from preschoolers all the way up to rocket scientists. I can make that claim because I used to teach English as a second language to engineering students at the University of Southern California. I became a teacher because of the movie Stand and Deliver. Have any of you ever seen the movie Stand and Deliver? If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's a true story of Jaime Escalante going to Garfield High School in East Los Angeles to teach AP Calculus. So I said, I'm going to be Jaime Escalante. So I was originally hired to teach 12th grade social studies in Compton, California. There's a movie that just came out about it. Yeah. Yep, that's where I taught. <laughs> and then they switched me from working with high school students to middle school students to upper elementary to lower elementary to pretty soon. Instead of preparing students for college, I was coming home with snot at my kneecaps every single day. <laughs> and what I learned is what works with a 12th grader does not necessarily work with a kindergartner. But what works with a kindergartner works with all age levels. <laughs> if it was up to me, everybody would start as a kindergarten teacher. I live in beautiful Redondo Beach, California, right by the ocean. I live there with my gorgeous wife, Jeannie, who's a saint because she's been home all alone for the last few weeks with our daughter, Kate. Aww. Our son, Sean. 
and our monster, Samantha. <laughs> and my wife has threatened to throw them all over a cliff if I do not return home very, very soon. I want to thank you all for coming today, because the first time I ever gave a talk, nobody showed up. So I dragged two janitors in the room and I did my presentation for them. Then I gave my handouts to an airport security guard and I'm confident one of those three individuals is now a successful public school teacher. <laughs> Confucius said, choose a job you love and you'll never have to work a day in your life. How many of you love what you do? Awesome. We need you. We need you for the next 30 years, not for the next three. My job is to keep great educators in their schools. If you're not great, leave. We don't want you. Kids deserve nothing but the best. So by the end of this presentation this afternoon, I want you to leave with your head held up high in the sky. I want you to leave here today feeling refreshed. I want you to leave here today feeling like you can tackle any challenges that may be presented in any of your classrooms. Are you excited for today? Yes. Get pumped. And, there we go, we'll clap randomly, I'm fine. Before anything though, teachers need to clarify their classroom rules to students. So everybody repeat after me. I will not yell in class. I will not yell in class. I will not throw things in class. I will not throw things in class. I will not get mad and hit anyone in class. I will not get mad and hit class. I will not have a temper tantrum. I will not have a temper tantrum. I will always be good because. I will always be good because. I am the teacher. 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 I am the teacher.